أعزائي طلبة المرحلة الخامسة في كلية الطب جامعة نيسان السلام عليكم وحفظكم الله وأهلكم من كل شر ومن برنامج التعليم الإلكتروني لمادة الطب وجراحة العيون Our lecture today about retinal detachment As we know from our first introduction lecture The eye is consist of three coats First is the sclera, the second is the uveal tissue, the third one is the retina. The picture here showing the three coats of the eye. The first outer white coat is the sclera, the second blue one is the uveal tissue, and the third last one, the red one, representing the retina. The retina by itself is consisting of, uh, of uh, ten layers. The first is the retinal pigment epithelium, and the other nine layers representing the neurosensory retina. Definition of the retinal detachment is the separation of the neurosensory retina or from the retinal pigment epithelium that results in accumulation of subretinal fluid in the potential space between them. The picture here showing the type of rigmatogenous retinal detachment. Here is the retinal break. Here is the, sub, uh, is the potential space between the neurosensory retina and the retinal pigment epithelium where the uh, subretinal fluid is accumulated. PVD or posterior vitreous detachment mean a separation of the cortical vitreous from the internal limiting membrane of the neurosensory retina. The prevalence of uh, PVD increase with age. It is typically spontaneous, but it can be induced by events such as cataract surgery or trauma. Floaters are the most common symptom of patient with posterior vitreous detachment. Patient with acute PVD symptom should be examined with greater urgency in the presence of risk factor, including myopia. The picture here showing the separation of the cortical vitreous or from the internal limiting membrane of the neurosensory retina. And here is the ocular ultrasound or B scan showing the BVD here. Type of uh, retinal detachment, there is a three type of retinal detachment. Rigmatogenous retinal detachment, rigma means break, or tractional retinal detachment, and the third one is exudative or surrus retinal detachment. Rigmatogenous retinal detachment occurs secondarily to a full thickness defect in the sensory retina, which permits fluid from the synthetic liquefied vitreous to gain access to the subretinal space. Second one, the traction or tractional retinal detachment in which the neurosensory retina is pulled away or from the retinal pigment epithelium by contracting vitro-retinal membranes in the absence of retinal break. Exudative type of retinal detachment is neither caused by a break nor traction. The subretinal fluid is derived from fluid in the, in the vessels of the neurosensor retina or from the choroid or pore. To examine patient with retinal detachment, either by indirect ophthalmoscopy or ocular ultrasound P-scan. The picture here showing an ophthalmologist doing indirect ophthalmoscopy and here is the ocular P-scan or ocular ultrasound. Short note about or short notes about rigmatogenous retinal detachment. Age of onset is typically after 50 K in general population, but may occur earlier in myopic patient or ocular trauma. The filo eye of a patient of rigmatogenous retinal detachment frequently become affected within six months to two years. Predisposing factors for rigmatogenous retinal detachment, peripheral retinal degeneration like lattice degeneration, acute posterior vitreous detachment, high myopic patient, trauma to the eye, cataract surgery, family history of rigmatogenous retinal detachment, systemic diseases like Marfan syndrome. The presenting symptoms of patients with retinal detachment, uh, the three F, the first, S, uh, the first F, the flashing lights or photopsia, the second F for vitreous floaters, and the third F for peripheral visual field defect. Signs of patient with rigmatogenous retinal detachment, relative efferent pupillary defect, low intraocular pressure or hypotony, mild iritis and tobacco dust, and the retinal breaks. Characteristic of the retina in case of rigmatogenous retinal detachment is convex, 
mobile retina and co irrigating. Sometime in case of long standing retinal detachment, there is a special sign for this uh, long standing retinal detachment. The retina become thin, retinal thinning, intra retinal cyst formation, and subretinal demarcation line. The picture here show the large break here for the regimatogenous retinal detachment and the ocular ultrasound show the retina is separated here the uh, neurosensory retina from the retinal pigment epithelium. The second type of retinal detachment is the tractional retinal detachment. Its main causes are proliferative retinopathy like proliferative diabetic retinopathy and the second one or the second main causes are penetrating posterior segment trauma. Symptoms of patients with tractional retinal detachment, photopsia and clutter are usually absent, unlike, tractional, unlike rheumatogenous retinal detachment. The visual field defect usually progress slowly and may, may, and may become stationary for months. Here also, unlike uh, exudative retinal detachment, when the visual field progress rapidly. Sign of the tractional retinal detachment, concave configuration of the retina, uh, and the breaks are absent. The break here is absent, unlike of rheumatogenous retinal detachment. Retinal mobility is severely reduced here, and shifting fluid is absent, unlike patient with exudative retinal detachment, when there is a sign of shifting fluid. The picture here show, uh, this, this is the uh, ocular ultrasound, showing the uh, tractional retinal detachment, and here is the retroretinal membrane. Here is the severe tractional retinal detachment in case of proliferative diabetic retinopathy. The third and the last one, uh, the last type of retinal detachment is the exudative or serous retinal detachment. Its main cause is choroidal tumor. Uh, exudative retinal detachment is caused by an intraocular tumor and can prove otherwise, commonly melanoma or choroidal melanoma. An inflammation of the retina like in case of Harada disease and posterior scleritis, bullous central serous choroidal retinopathy, band retinal photocoagulation in case of proliferative diabetic retinopathy when the VRD is done, subretinal neovascularization or CMV, hypertensive choroidopathy like in case of toxemia of pregnancy, idiopathic causes such as uveal effusion syndrome. Symptoms here. Photopsia is absent because there is no retinal traction. Flutter may be present in case of severe detritus. The visual field defect, as we said before, may develop suddenly and progress rapidly. The retina here is mobile retina and exhibit the phenomena of shifting fluid in response to the gravity. Uh, after the detachment is flattened, may be a leopard spot formation. Characteristic of the exudative retinal detachment convex and smooth. There is no corrugation, unlike rheumatogenous retinal detachment. Look, this is a smooth shaped retinal detachment, and here is the uh, tumor of the retina or choroidal melanoma, and this is the uh, fluid of exudative retinal detachment. Management of retinal detachment in general, either by pneumatic retinopathy by using intraretinal uh, expanding gas, or cyclical buckling by using silicone material explant onto uh, surcharge onto the cyclera and drainage of the subretinal fluid. The third and the most famous surgery for patient with uh, uh, retinal detachment is by BBV or Barsiplana vitrectomy with or without silicone oil using by three board system, one board for infusion cannula, second board for the vitrectomy cutter, and the third one for the illumination light. The indication of barsplana vitrectomy, complex rheumatogenous retinal detachment, tractional retinal detachment, persistent vitreous hemorrhoids in case of uh, severe proliferative diabetic retinopathy, dropped nucleus after cataract surgery, and intraocular foreign body. In all our lecture, the reference is Kanski textbook. This is the seventh edition, and the eighth edition, and the ninth edition. Shukran li husn al
وسنعيدها بمشاركة الطلبة في ظروف أفضل إن شاء الله شكرا لكم ومع السلامة